Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. France, Thomas Gainolet title. The Unseen Chase, Thomas Gainolet, a prominent political scientist and author in France, was known for his unyielding perspectives on French politics. However, his sudden disappearance without any warning or trace had sent shockwaves through the nation. The search for Thomas Gainolet began as a local concern, but soon escalated into an international intrigue. Gainolet's abrupt disappearance was unusual considering his high-profile status and influential role in French society. His last public appearance was at a televised debate where he discussed the socio-political scenario of France with fervor and conviction. He then returned home to his Parisian apartment that night, but vanished mysteriously the next day. The initial days of investigation led to nowhere significant. It seemed like Thomas had vanished into thin air. The authorities found no signs of forced entry or struggle at his apartment, and all of his belongings were intact. His bank account showed no activity since the day he disappeared. As days turned into weeks, with no sign of Thomas Gainolet, theories began to circulate among the public about what might have happened to him. Some believe that he might have been kidnapped by political adversaries due to controversial views. Others speculated that he could have gone into self-imposed exile due to some undisclosed scandal. Meanwhile, a team led by Inspector Laure Moreau started digging deeper into Gainolet's past activities and connections. They discovered that prior to disappearing, Thomas had been working on a highly controversial book targeting corruption within France's highest echelons of power. Information enough for many people wanting him silent. Suddenly, everything fell into place. Thomas wasn't just missing. He was in hiding. But why? And where? Further investigations revealed an encrypted email thread between Thomas and an anonymous source who claimed possession of damning evidence against several high-ranking officials involved in corrupt practices. It appeared that fearing retaliation from these powerful individuals upon publication of this book, 